Muslims, they say that Muhammad, according to their books, even we showed you right now, he is saying you can kill them. But slavery is a business. It's a lot of money. So what Muhammad, he did, he told his men, if you want to have slaves, the slaves you can have only if they have no hair in their pubic area. If they have a hair in their pubic area, you slaughter them immediately. So we have some stories like this. This is a Jewish guy. Explain what happened to him after the Muslim they killed every single one of his tribe. Why he is alive? I was a young boy and they were not sure about me, kill him or not to kill him. But they did not find any pubic hair, so they let me live. And here I am among you. This is what they did to kids. They slaughter all the kids. You know, Middle Eastern, they are hairy. So you will have hair in a very young age. Now, for sure, not the same as the comedy movie, like this guy, uh, what's his name? Uh, Aladdin, you know? The dictator movie, like the guy is born, he have a cubic hair <laughs> when he was one day old. So, Middle Eastern are very hairy. Even women are very hairy. So, they killed all the children. Those are children. So, if the guy, he have one hair, in his pubic area, he will be killed immediately. And the one they don't have hair, they take them as slaves. Those are the boys. The girls, for sure, they are sex slaves. Did the Israeli line up the children of Gaza and ask them to take off their pants so we can see if you have a hair in your pubic area? How many they will slaughter if this is the purpose? This is what Muhammad did. Did the Israeli ask all men to line up, take off their pants, and the one have a hair, we shoot him? This is what Muhammad did. The Jews today didn't know they are fighting whom. They are fighting the devil. Those people, they think, and this is the problem, by the way, they think they can have peace with those people. You hear right now in the news telling you that uh, they want to establish a two-state solution. Who is the donkey when I believe that if you establish two state, five state, ten state, you will have peace. Only mentally ill will believe in that. Because as you see, you will fight the Jews and time will come. And if a Jew hide behind a tree or a rock, the tree and the rock, they will say there's a Jew behind me, come and kill him. So what peace you want to have? Those people are commanded to slaughter you. Your problem is not a paper of peace. Like, you know, the Israeli, they sign a peace agreement with Egypt. Every single Muslim Egyptian, he wished to burn every Jew alive. And they will burn the peace of paper 
agreement with you as soon they get their power to conquer you. The Jews, they knew that, you know that, they know that, everybody know that, but nobody want to say it. They are desperate. They want to sign a peace agreement with Saudi Arabia. Who is the fool here? Are you really going to have a peace with them? Are you going to sign a peace agreement with the snake? Those people are religious. The motivation of King Yu is not a problem we solve like, okay, this is yours, this is mine. Bye-bye, thank you, nice to meet you. Okay, you know, let us be friends. No, no, this is, this, is not the, this is not the story. The story is this is their religion. They have to kill you. And their faithy prophet, he told them already. He gave them the command. And the man is dead. We can't call Muhammad, say, hey, Muhammad, can you say something else? Like change it? Those people, they worship Muhammad. Everybody is doing politics. But nobody is telling the truth. The truth is ugly. This is not a war about land. I have nothing to do with the land. This is a war about religion. The only way for the Jews not to be killed is to become Muslims. If Netanyahu and all the Jews in Israel become Muslim today, trust me, if you kill everybody in Gaza, nobody will complain. When Saddam Hussein, he used chemical weapon against the Kurdish in Halabsha. How many Muslims did complain? Zero. Uh, uh, have you ever heard any Muslim making a video about what Saddam Hussein did? No. Erdogan, he bombed Kurdish people every day. He had tens of thousands of women and children captured in his jail, now as we speak. He took towns and villages, now as we speak, of the Kurdish. They kicked them out of their houses and they in place on them, they put Arab Syrian instead of the Kurdish. Nobody complained because he is a Muslim. Erdogan is a Muslim, so he have a license. And, this, and then those who they are doing politics, they try to convince you that if you give them this, okay, hold on, we, he gave them the West Bank. Are we done? No. Okay, what do you want more? We gave you Gaza, okay, we gave you Sina, all the desert of Sina, we gave it. Are we done? No. Half of Jordan? No. It doesn't matter what you give them, you are being stupid. In fact, the more you are giving them, the more greedy they will get, and the more they will ask for more. Don't you hear them? They are seeing from the river to the sea, which means you have no place here. Even the Muslims who live in New York, they were shouting from the river to the sea. They don't want you anywhere near. So the stupid Israeli, because they are desperate for peace, they keep giving lands. And the more they give lands, by the way, the more they become weak, because that will give the enemy easy access. I mean, you can go in the heart of Israel in one hour drive. Israel now is so small, so there's no borders. There's no borders. You see, if somebody want to attack you and say, I mean, we have a massive land. 
So in order to reach to Washington DC, you have to go through the hell of fight. But in Israel, this is a small, tiny land. All of it, the, the farm of George Bush is bigger than Israel. If you go right now and search for farm for sale in USA, you will find some farms in the size of Israel for sale. And you know, when you are worried about the international community, well, the international community, they don't give, I don't want to say the, I don't want to be rude. You're just being stupid. The Mohammedan, they keep shouting, death to America, death to Israel. They put it even in their TV. The Iranian president, tomorrow, I say today, he is going to Saudi Arabia because they have Islamic summit. What is the slogan of Iran? Death to America, death to Israel. So a minister of Netanyahu cabinet, he said, maybe we should use nukes. The whole world went so upset but those people, they keep saying death to America, death to Israel, death to America every day. Why, if it's a Muslim, he says, you know, America is a country, it's not a person. Israel is a country, it's not a person. Why, if the Muslim, they say, Death to America, death to Israel. That is not a problem. And all of them, they have relationship with those people, including the stupid Biden. In fact, the stupid Biden, by the way, less than five days after he became a president, he announced that Al-Houthi group are not terrorists and he left the ban over them from the list of terrorism. Do you see the sign next to him? This is Al Houthi, a drug dealer, Shia terrorist in Yemen. There is two signs, one in the left and one in the right. The one in the left is about jihad, but let us read the one. I mean, they've been, how, how, you know, your screen. So in the front of me, I'm talking about the screen, the one in my right, or the, on the right of the screen, the one have those three lines in red. Let us zoom in. Allahu Akbar. Okay, this is the first one. What is the second line in Arabic and red? al to America, death to America. Okay, what the second line after that? al to Israel, death to Israel. What is the third line? Curse on the Jews. What is the green line? al nasrul Islam, victory for Islam. And then you need to ask yourself, why even we have those, I mean, America, Israel? What about the rest? Oh, well, you know, America is the biggest country, is the most, let us say, powerful country. So if we finish America, we finish the rest. We do not need this to say death to Germany and death to Australia. Just later, you know, let us finish with the big ones. The big Satan and the small Satan. And then this is stupid Biden. He took them from the terrorist list. I mean, imagine they are saying death to America. It's in the in his back in his office, and every every each time he go on TV, this is a screen behind him. It says death to America, and the stupid scumbag Joe Biden. He take them from the list of terrorism. Why? Because Obama is a Shia. As soon, it's not even not even a week. Biden, he left them from terrorist sanctions.